What is going on guys, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video and today we got some exclusive information from Game Informer. Now last week Game Informer was talking about dropping some exclusive information on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And they said it was going to drop on August 6th and today is August 6th of course, but they did give us some more information about the guns that's returning to Call of Duty Modern Warfare like the P90, the FAL, the CAR 98K, the Dragon Off and etc. But today we got some crazy information on ground war because they, I guess they was testing it or playing it and the player count goes up to 64. So everybody remembers ground war from Call of Duty 4, you know, Modern Warfare 2, right? So this time the player count has rised up to 64 players set in a huge map, you know, obviously a big, big ass map. And it is set in the downtown of, downtown of a city with choppers and some other crazy stuff. So a lot of people is taking this as, you know, this could be potentially a battle royale map also, because if they're just going to have, you know, ground war for up to 64 players and then, you know, possibly 100, you know, that could open up a battle royale. So a lot of people is going crazy over this because we never had a Call of Duty with 64 players. You know what I'm saying? Like we've never had that. And of course, you know, the competitors, you know, Battlefield has that. You know, they have 64 players, but this time it's like, damn. So if Ground War is going to go up to 64, can it go higher than that? Can it go to 100 players, like 50 v 50 or something like that? That would be absolutely crazy. And the community has always wanted something like that. And it's finally happening. So I'm saying like Modern Warfare is just this game that everything that the community wanted is actually happening in this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine? Okay, so you got 64 players, possibly 100, right? And there's kill streaks. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's kill streaks on ground war. So, imagine if you get like an AC 130 or a gunship or a juggernaut or, you know, a VTOL jet. Like, can you imagine the, the clips, the, the amount of kills you can get? You know what I'm saying? Like, the nuke going off. Like, do you understand? the craziness that is going to be going down on ground war with 64 players, possibly a hundred. Can you imagine? And supposedly modern warfare is supposed to have dedicated servers. So like I said, everything is sounding so good for modern warfare. Like it's like a dream come true. That's what it's sounding like, you know? And I hope at launch, everything is like flawless. Everything is working. You can do whatever you want. The game is complete. That's what the community wants, and I'm hoping Infinity War can definitely deliver that. Now, Game Informer has released some statements about this game mode and some other factors of it, so I'm going to read it. So, Game Informer says that the map has lots of open space, high sight lines from key landmarks and areas with sparse cover. The mode features many landmarks across the map and smaller corridors for combat. The map features vehicles, choppers, and more, and is set in a downtown of a city with skyscrapers and even banks in the area. Game Informer says in the match they played, choppers fly by smashing into buildings as worlds of infantry scatter and merge from cover on the streets below. Choppers whiz by above while players spawn into secure locations and even APCs on the move, planning their next cap point. Covers everywhere in the side alleys and between buildings, but watch yourself carefully if you're planning to trek the spacious roads, as they provide little protection and can turn into everything from small scale skirmishes on the fly around upturned cars to sniper massacres. You're incredibly exposed in these areas, so judicious use of smoke, fast moving from cover to cover, and working as incursion teams are all critical to success if you plan to spend any time on these expanses of concrete. So that was a little, you know, roundup of what they played and telling you some of the experiences they had by playing this mode. So going back to Battle Royale, Battle Royale could be a thing for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If they're gonna be going from 64, possibly to 100. They're gonna be climbing the numbers of players in a match. It could have Battle Royale, possibly. I'll say about, we're about 70% there if we do actually get a Battle Royale. But now I want to talk about the operator. So operators is in a game, you know, it's like your your character. You know, you have the legions, do you have the coalition, do you have like the demon dogs and stuff like that. So they have it where you can customize them. So you can un unlock 
stuff throughout gameplay, like leveling up. So you can unlock, you know, appearances, you know, personalities, voices, executions, and skins. So that adds some more gameplay to Modern Warfare replay value if you're into stuff like that. All this information should excite you guys. You should be very excited about playing Modern Warfare and just some of the information that's going to be happening. Now we will probably will get to see some campaign stuff in the coming weeks so keep your eyes open for that charlie intel has all the information make sure you follow them on twitter game informer is going to be dropping some more information from their little interview with some of the people that work at infinity war but all this information is exciting and i can't wait to see more but other than that this is your boy gonna two times bringing you another video please like and subscribe and comment chat this below and i'm out man peace